In the day's other news, Russia warned of countermeasures if the U.S. withdraws from a Cold War era nuclear arms treaty. The 1987 pact banned the two sides from having medium range ground launched missiles. President Trump announced Saturday that the U.S. will quit the agreement. He charged again today that Russia has violated the terms. We'll have a full report on that later in the program. A growing caravan of Central American migrants pushed deeper into southern Mexico today, despite new warnings from President Trump. He declared that he will slash foreign aid for El Salvador, Guatemala and Honduras for failing to stop the migrants. We have been giving so much money to so many different countries for so long, and it's not fair and it's not good. And then when we ask them to keep their people in their country, they're unable to do it. Meanwhile, United Nations officials estimated more than 7,000 people are now part of the procession moving toward the U.S. border. They still have some 1,100 miles to go. Trump's tweets are very worrying. He doesn't know how we've suffered, as he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Well, we weren't. If you put himself in our shoes, it would be very different. A spokesman for El Salvador's president voiced hope today that tensions over the caravan will ease after the U.S. midterm elections in two weeks. Hurricane Willa set its sights on Mexico's Pacific coast today with catastrophic winds of 155 miles an hour. It is now a Category 4 storm expected to hit south of the resort town of Mazatlan late Tuesday. Earlier in the day, the storm was a Category 5, the most powerful kind, but it weakened slightly. Vote counting has begun in Afghanistan's parliamentary elections. After a weekend of delays and violence, election officials say some 4 million of the country's nearly 9 million registered voters cast ballots. That is despite new Taliban attacks that left an estimated 78 people dead. Voting in Kandahar province was delayed a week after a guard killed two Afghan security officials last week. The top U.S. commander in Afghanistan, General Scott Miller, escaped injury at that Kandahar meeting, but the Pentagon has now confirmed that Army Brigadier General Jeffrey Smiley suffered at least one gunshot wound. Separately, a NATO soldier from the Czech Republic died in another insider attack today in western Afghanistan. And on Wall Street, energy and financial stocks led much of the market lower. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost nearly 127 points to close at 25,317. The Nasdaq rose 19 points, and the S&P 500 slipped almost 12. Still to come on the news hour, U.S.-Saudi relations are in question after the latest explanation of Jamal Khashoggi's death. Concerns are raised about security in Europe after the president says he plans to withdraw from a nuclear treaty. The Trump administration plans to eliminate protections for transgender people and much more.